Greetings everyone, and great here for another H Powers 4 replay spawn. Top right side is the Cyan Jean d'Arc with K Bilef. Oh, I butchered that. And spawn oh, bottom left side is Red oh. Japanese with Louis MT. Or L Louis MT. We have the immediate wheelbarrow version 1 Japanese oh, research thing, the Tawara. Probably butcher that name, like I do with every other name in these games. Let me notice, well, it looks like Cyan has both deer deposits back here, along with some berries. There's quite a bit of food back here for Jean d'Arc to claim. Gold, of course, will be over here. Stone, quite a bit next to the trade post. Maybe we'll see the commerce of trade? Probably not. Though, honestly, Jean d'Arc tends to go out on her own, so maybe sending her off to build the trades, commerce of trade in the corner could be a possibility. But let's face it. Most French players don't go for it. They, I usually hear people come out and say, Oh, it's so hard to keep those trades alive. I'll think of the Mongols who really have to go for the silver tree if they want good eco. <laughs> and they don't even get wolves. School of Cavalry is now going on up. For the Japanese player, we got both deer deposits pretty close to each other. With some stone here, which would be good for the manor. And with the uh, extra gold collected on up... Or the expenditure, I should say, for the uh, Taura. Wara? I haven't pronounced that. That was slow as age up, so the French player could get quite a bit of work done for early Royal Knight. We now got the Kira Storehouse being put on the field, which provides some free farms. And we got a good number of sheep collected for the Japanese player. The French, or Jean d'Arc, does have a bit of sheep as well. More sheep are going to be led to glory. Both boars over there, so maybe Jean d'Arc can kill off both the boars. There's the age of Kurosawa storehouse. is only being built by one villager. The Japanese player may be eyeing for a fast castle. Or faster or castle, but do got a pair of outposts. Yeah, has to be careful of the French cavalry. They demand respect, and they will earn that respect as they start gliding the way forward. Since now we're going to see a little bit of combat, let's go ahead and slow it down to normal speed, and let's really get started in this game. Royal Cavalry, Royal Knight pushing his way forward. Most of the berries have not been gone up. Of course, the Japanese housing is the food drop of location, so... Oh, and Jean d'Arc has leveled up and gone for the Swordsman variant. Honestly, the more I look at it, most people are the Swordsman variant because Holy Wrath is very good to fight against Spearmen. But... The final Jean d'Arc uh, range variant is actually pretty good, and the single shot point target damage does get replaced with an AoE effect, so the final range Jean d'Arc is probably better than the final melee Jean d'Arc, in my opinion. Does get inside the. Oh, and does get inside of the storehouse. The storehouse is good at storing villagers, at least four of them. And the knight. We'll get picked off there. Good snipe there. John Dark's first questing adventure quest is kill the boar. Most adventurers start off fighting slimes and skeletons, but not Jean Dark. She fights boar. We do not got survival techniques found research by Jean Dark, while the Japanese player is eyeing for some arrow slits. This one has already been upgraded with arrow slits as well. Would have known uh, putting uh, thinner windows is very useful for fighting out of. Akuna Matata shall end this day. And Boar does go down. We do got some archers here to support out the Royal Knight. That Royal Knight's also quite wounded. So, Chivalry may be in order sooner rather than later, though Jean d'Arc could use Divine Restoration when it gets off cooldown to get a little bit extra healing. 
All good ready to go there for immediately. Unless the scout will run away, we may escape on out of there. So just right around town center, the Japanese player does not have enough stone, nowhere near enough stone to go for the manor. And now there is the floating gate. He may go for some mounted samurai immediately afterwards. And let's well, just consecrated the town center. You see a bit of walls there. The outpost there will keep these villagers nice and alive. There's nine villagers there, so there's plenty of storage space for those villagers. Going back over here with some archers. Looks look like she's a raid boss right now with her two supporting minions. And now we do have the guild hall going on up. Let's John Dark maybe I am some eco play. She may not be a super aggressive in Castle Age and I'm to be aggressive in Imperial Age. The Guild Hall is a pretty good economic landmark. Got a line of Palisade walls there. One Yoshiro. Oh, yeah, did the recent. There's the Yoshiro. So that stable is now times three stable. More palisade walls going on up. No palisade walls needed here. The scout could block the entrance. And will not block or will block the entrance there. Guild hall is almost complete. Jean d'Arc is going to sway the scout from being there. While might does not make right, it makes one hell of an argument. To mount the samurai push way forward. John Dark has now aged up. Got some Arbor of Tears not being blown field. She may just skip. You know, French players have bonuses like through the cheaper production of arch uh, stable units and archer range units. John Dark does not get that luxury, so she doesn't have to go for a cavalry based composition. So she could go for an infantry composition and could use uh, Jean's Riders, Jean's Champions of Good Frontline. And it looks like these villagers are going to be very, very exposed right now. They need to get inside the outpost. Not a Samurai gets no kills at the moment, but they can easily torch their way through there. Those scouts getting hit. These get hit first. Looks like only one of the. Yeah, it looks like the garrison arrow is going there while the arrow is well, actually heading there, so the fire is actually splitting. Scout does go down. Jean d'Arc will get overwhelmed. She is an age 2 unit versus a bunch of these age 3 units. Arbiter is getting hit as well. Jean d'Arc does get killed off. She's like 100 gold and doesn't want to get replaced. 250. Got a number of tears in reserve. Needs a little bit more gold to get Jean d'Arc once again. And the villagers have been saved. Oh, them a little bit wounded, but alive. Arbutiers are going to get some good defensive capability here. Daniel Manor has now been researched by the Japanese player, as well as a bit of wood. John Ark does only have blue barrel and wood as well, and going for the food research now. Looks like those walls are infinitely degrading. And those villagers will get sliced up a little bit, but they'll stay alive. He does a plus one damage, so th the samurai will two shot those villagers since they don't have textile. Melee armor or or textiles help counteract that, but textiles won't give them resilient one more hit. So will the melee armor as well. Combine them both, and they will take four hits. Trying to engage or trying to get the. Does get killed off there. 
Shinto Priest was unsuccessful there. Red has claimed up two relics in the moment. He may have more picked up. No, he does not. There's a bit of a bug when it comes to Shinto Priest. At least the initial one, where it comes free with uh, Yoshiro. So just looking inside the outpost there. Got a good number of other tiers. That uh, Mount Samurai does go down there. Now I've got a mounted banner, man. Those are some of the villagers there trying to sway the mounted samurai. Does torch it down. Those just one trying to run away. Arbor tears. One villager now remains. Lack of textiles or melee armor is really hurting the girl in dark right there. Losing four villagers very quickly. Another consecrate now activated. Looks like she's going eye for a crossbow composition. I have not researched uh, Venom Royal Knights just yet. Has employed enough and really warranted it, though I remember correctly, a Venom Royal Knight upgrade is pretty cheap. They do now the Hardened Spear or Veteran Spear research for the Japanese player, and since the Frenchman is not eyeing for any sort of cavalry, massive cavalry based play, those spearmen is not going to be all that useful. He's going for mass arch or crossbows. And Arbiters do scale quite well versus spearmen with the Gamerson upgrade, but won't be able to put the Gamerson upgrade into Imperial Age. Or no, it's the uh, crossbow stirrups I'm thinking of. And uh, Gambersons, giving plus five melee armor. Oh, oh unless the Royal Knight got stuck there on the tree. Royal Knight taking some hits. Up here, we do have the walls being under siege. Sign has picked up a relic. Red has picked up the other two. There's one of the relics that are picked on up. And John Dark didn't get an experience there. Let's take a look and see her experience rate. She is pretty close to aging up. And also, I don't know which one she go for. Champions or Riders? Both? Uh, riders are only good against crossbows. Champions probably the way to go. Since the Riders... Only get bone sand versus crossbows, and I think it can siege weapons as well. But the Japanese player is most Japanese players don't go for the mounted archer, which I think is classified as crossbow when it comes to that statistic. I honestly have no idea if it does count as a crossbow in that damage. Holy Wrath has been activated there. Started stepping away. Does have enough guys to one shot mounted samurai. Warrow Knight does get spear brace there. Draws quite a bit of fire. Another more round of mounted banner man. Cross Arbor tiers have gone down. Divine Restoration there gets good healing. Yarnark has gone down, so does a mounted samurai. Yeah, with her archer based composition, may have been better to go for the uh, archer line. Does pick off some of these mounted banner man. These mount or mounted samurai. Mounted samurai are incredibly expensive, costing 250. So sniping them is very useful, is very cost effective. Couple crossbows go down there. Right now, Sign does have a better kill value than Red. Dawn Dark has been brought back in the battlefield. Oh, wait. There's Dawn Dark, and she has now leveled up. He went for the champions. I believe champions were definitely the better choice since he's fighting, she's fighting against more spearmen. Less likely to fight against crossbows. Assuming the mounted archers do get classified as crossbows. She could deploy out a keep in order to go for more of the champions. For those who don't know, the champions do get bonus damage versus spearmen. You can see there, plus eight. And there goes Sean Dark once again. Got stabbed to death by a bunch of pokey sticks. And the champions also go down as well. Instructed by the farmhouse.
Better run night research on the way. We do have some spearmen now being plotted by Jean d'Arc. More mountain, mountain banner, uh, samurai sort of going down. I don't know why I'm trouble saying that word. Archers are a good idea versus spearmen. And as John's champions will go down there. Oh, that's still uh, John's champions. John's champions still up there. Veteran Royal Knights do charge on in. John's champion does get a kill there. Archers moving around. This force is quite wounded. Sign does have an army of 35 versus 27. Grondark has been redeployed as well. A wounded banner man or mounted samurai there. Archers and these forces are engaged in melee. Let's use the fine restoration there to get some good healing. Actually, she's lost quite a bit of her Argo Tears, so now she doesn't have a whole lot of AP armor damage at the moment. But has a good number of archers on the field to gain engage the spearmen. If game is in research, the Argo Tears are will be very durable against the spearmen. The spearmen right now have 12 damage. The Gamerson's upgrade, along with all the melee upgrades, can get the Argo Tears armor up to 8. So taking only 4 damage from spearmen is not a lot of damage, to say the least. Looks like these samurai getting distracted there. Shinto priest going to get impaled. Another Shinto priest does go down there. Archers and crossbows push way forward. Has a couple defensive spearmen. Veteran spearmen research on the way. French men are not being pulled on the field. Primarily meant to be a meat shield. I hear some Onobashigas deploying on the field. Right now they do have 10 damage. So higher armor is better. So Arbor Tears, once again, will be very resilient to them. However, their attack speed is very high and their damage can be bumped up even higher than Bannerman. We do not have the Daimyo Palace who can deploy out two Bannermans at the moment. Jean d'Arc has not been redeployed on the field just yet. We've got two monks on the field. Jean d'Arc has been redeployed to the battlefield. As I know as well, I just love the description. Jean d'Arc the Knight is unique to Jean d'Arc. No shit. <laughs> Right now, she does have 50% range resist, or that hasn't been changed in the recent patch, just hasn't it? It's now it's like 40%? 45% range resist, and it increases to 60%. Local doggo will be put down. New monster. Side has been decaptured there. Regis lost a banner man. Banner man are quite expensive. Some French men of arms are need to run away. There's a bunch of angry ladies right there. Of course, they are also moved pretty quickly while the heavy armor will slow them down. If I get sliced up a little bit, the archer will go down no problem. The men of arms do only have five melee armor at the moment. They should eye for more melee armor. They're fighting against Japanese and tend to go from melee compositions. And the Onobashiga are a very common unit. Right now, the Onobashigas have 11.5 damage. Holy Wrath has been activated there. Another Holy Raft there. Holy Raft's gonna be very useful. You have, of course, one, two Banner Man on the field. Horses now engaged. Arbitrators need to focus down those mounted samurai. Archers need to focus on the owner of the Shigas. John Dark has plenty of health on mode. Japanese players are gonna fall back. He's in scatter formation right now, which actually is probably not a good idea. 
He's not facing against any AoE weapon, though it's made of Holy Wrath she's concerned about. John Arc is out of Holy Wrath. And now we got the Shogunate Castle, the Veteran Samurai, and Odachi upgrade. So he's going to switch to a uh, Samurai composition to engage Spawn's infantry. Good idea. There's a Shogunate Castle now. Villages here are getting hit. And Jarnark does go down. Oh, got some hand can nears. He just advanced the next age. This must be the gunsmith somewhere. Not sure what the gunsmiths at the moment. We got the Shinto Shrine. No research there. And the French army looks like oh, oh, down there. You have these forces falling back. These villagers are getting back on end. There's a gunsmith. He immediately went for some, for some free hand cannoneers. The unique hand cannoneer is good for structures. It's a good support unit. Has good range, but DPS is not that great. Compared to regular hand cannoneers. If you want damage, you want to go for regular... Wait, hand cannoneer Ashigaru? So they're a different name? Are there something different about the hand cannoneers? Because I don't... It says hand cannoneer Ashigaru. But it doesn't have the unique symbol there. So is there actually something different with it? Uh, nope. Looks like there's nothing unique about them. It's just called Ashigaru. Maybe there's an upgrade that affects Ashigaru units, I guess. I'm not so sure. Maybe I'm mistaken. Sorry. I just now realized that it's actually named different. Mounted Samurai moving around. Companion equipment now being researched. It's funny, I never see companion equipment ever researched when it was cheaper, but ever since it got a price increase, it becomes people go for it. Running to Jean's champions on the field. Holy Wrath here to make an easy fight. But she's probably really lose the fight. She's forced to use her abilities there. And 42 health versus 50 health. And she actually did lose that fight. A little bit foolish of Jean d'Arc there. And she's cost, what, 500 gold right now? That's an expensive loss losing her. We do have the Red Palace in the field. The Red Palace is, of course, an excellent defensive structure. And Red's trying to go for our castle there. And got some hand cannons in the back line as well. So some Magno wouldn't be half bad. Help engage them. He does go, has a good number of archers and crossbows. He's not going for the veteran archer or the elite archer research. Nor the elite, or we got the elite man arms to research the way. We got the veteran horsemen on the way. If he's not trying to kill any more archers, not upgrading them would be just fine. A couple of Bannermans have been focused down there. We've got more Bannermans on the front line, however. Jondark's taking some hits there. Massive damage from the Jondark. He's trying to finish her off. But we'll lose some of those units there. Passives have been deployed in the field, giving the Arbiters extra range and range armor. John Darkus right now just trying to mend her wounds. And she will go down once again. More horsemen are being pulled on out. Right now, John Dark has quite a bit of food and wood, so may want to go for more horsemen, which he produced the elite horsemen research on the way. Elite horsemen, it's almost complete. Arbor Thiers are a good unit for Jean d'Arc. They're very bulky for their cost. They do cost 120 like railroad crossbows, but have just a little bit extra abilities. I don't think their health is anything higher. No, the health actually... Yeah, regular crossbow health is, what, 90 at this age? So I think they are a little bit more healthy. But 5 health is nothing too significant. It may be a little important in most matchups. 
Since it's, since the, his opponent is going for a large number of samurai right now, it's probably a good idea for the cannon level up for Jean d'Arc rather than going for the more Jean's champions. So she, Japanese player is not going good number of spear range. Keep receiving some fire. The keeps bonus damage is plus zero versus structures. And Kenya is trying to hit those villagers now. Our Blutiers do have the passability there. Getting increasing their range by one. So six hour range allows them to counterattack pretty easily. And plus with extra range armor could be very useful even against the hand cannoneers. Villagers are still alive, but barely. A lot less now. And really trying to focus on those villagers. More villagers there, so the keep will be built. Shondark will win the skirmish ship. We do now have a bombard emplacement inside the castle as well. The keep has been built, does have access to a single arbaliteer, arbalist emplacement. Oh, it looks like the arbalist emplacement was nerfed in this patch. Beforehand, it was even good against batting rams, but no, it doesn't. To be honest, it was a bit warranted. It was like 60 damage. And it does are still retaining high attack speed, so it's still a good defensive placement. Bowling oil not being researched about the French cannon now floating on the field. Not by Jean d'Arc. How is Jean d'Arc's level up going? Jean d'Arc's almost ready to level up. She has her two arms men almost off cooldown as well. So she should get a free cannon out relatively soon. Elite Horsemen trying to find another opportunity. We do not have Royal Bloodlines research. Incendiary is on the way, so he is going to get some Arch or the Arbor Tears increased. Got the various research here for the Japanese player. We got your Shiro inside the forge. Oh yeah, it looks like the, if there's no Tide Farm. I forgot about that for the Japanese player for Japan. But the Yoshiro's will buy them some extra gold for free. Another town center here. You need to get the Daimyo Manor as soon as you can. Actually, it does have enough stone for the Daimyo Manor. The keep is the castle is going to receive some repairs. The sacred site's not actually captured now, is it? Because I see that little circle there. Because if we look over here, uh, nope. It, I don't know why. I didn't realize. That this circle capture bar is always up. I thought it was like, if there's nothing to influence capture, it will be gone. It is me being stupid now. Chapter's players are free for some owner of Shiga and some various other units. And Kenyas are here to support them. Fun small numbers, just getting the free ones. Got now the elite horsemen over on the owner of Shigas. And now there's more owner of Shigas right now, and they do have 17 damage. Which is going to rip apart most of the stuff in melee, including the heavy arm units. All six sites have been captured now. Got the Gamerson's research and the Royal Bloodlines. He needs to get the crossbow stirrups as well. Beaten Man Arms deployment field. I think Jean d'Arc just leveled up. Yeah, she has the blast cannon now. And deploy out more cannon for free. Two arms men is now available. Should I get it out so she get out the cannon? Oh no! She went for the man of arms variant. Okay, I was not expecting that. I would assume in this situation the cannon would be the correct call, but that is not the case. Either way, the Jean's champions will have right now six armor, getting plus one armor for being near Jean. So they can get up to a little bit extra armor compared to regular man of arms, but only because she goes from apart. He needs regular crossbow at this point in time. The regular crossbows would be, or the regular archers would be decent first to own Bashigas. Doesn't have the Otsu for extra building damage. Crossbows are sort of stepping away, getting some good damage there. And the cannon has gone down, the castle has been repaired quite nicely. Now we've got a Japanese bombard glove on the field. Seven hand cannoneers going for more on Bashigas. They're just really cost-effective on the Bushigas. 
and they only cost 80 resources, so they're dirt cheap, and they get a large amount of stacking buffs and apply, applied effects. Strength of Heaven could be useful. Was that on one of her champions? Get them really souped up. John Dark taking some hits there. Against one of the Shigas, maybe a good idea to go for the Royal Knights now. As well as archers. Cross of the Surts are quite nice on top of the uh, Arbiters, giving them a significant amount of extra damage. But now we've got all these forces on push way forward. Darn archers getting simply overran by cheap fodder. And now we are seeing some horsemen mixed on in to help engage the Bonobashiga. Trying to go for some stone there. It does have the red palace here for fire support. The village need to get inside of it. Which will get it to basically firing fully automatic. A good number of the Ashikar room hand cannoneers. Of course, I'm trying to push the way forward, but we'll find the Arbos placement of the town center. Horsemen running on back. And now I've got the elite army tax and all on the way for Jean d'Arc. Really need to get the melee armor, which really helps out fighting against those Bonobashigas. Our push way forward, the Arbos place in town center is going to get some good damage, but we'll take some time. More of these forces push way forward and signed us back to the game. This Angroid saying, thank you for watching, and on to next play.